Mark, it was great to work with you. I'm so happy for all of your success. You proved yourself to be a tremendous leader and very insightful and willing to make tough changes. So I wish you the best of luck in the next journey and I hope to come see you over there pretty soon. Mark, my mentor, um, I'm sure you know that we are gonna miss you and we wish you well. One of the things that I'm most proud of you about and admire the most of you is your passion. Um, and I'm so proud that you're chasing your passion and moving to Israel and we look forward to visiting you there and North Carolina. I'm gonna, the thing I'm gonna miss most is golfing, um, throwing my clubs at Westwood. It's always a great time. Uh, and just getting to know you and your passion for people, your passion for your faith, the discussions that we had around that and business and everything personally, your relationship just means so much to us. We love you. Hi, Mark. Thank you for having us today. I'm so glad that you came into our lives at Higher Up Texas because you helped us in so many ways. You helped me keep my sanity during the hardest semester of the world, which was fall 2020. And if you know education, you know that was a really rough time with COVID. Um, the sentiment you always shared, which made me just kind of get through that time was share it. So thank you for all you did for us and for me, because that was a really hard time and, and it just meant a lot to me. Mark, I'm going to miss you a lot. You've always been like a dad to me for the last 20-something years. Um, we've been through thick and thin, and you know what I'm talking about, but we got through it. I love you. Take care. Yeah, Mark, it was great knowing you. You have been a great mentor. I mean, I still use the wisdom that you have passed to me, and I promise I'm going to pass it to other people as well. Uh, you have helped me to make amazing decisions in my life. You have been always there for me. I'm gonna miss you so much. Good luck. Mr. Mark, uh, thank you for inviting me to your uh, see you later party. Uh, I hope you carry on your legacy uh, in Israel and for the Jewish community. And uh, always inspire me, your, your, your career, your, your, your story always inspire me to be a, to be a good person to be a kind person, to help for the society, community, for the family, everything. So inspire me and day and night and forever. It's really uh, uh, inspired my life. And I hope you are going to see you soon in Israel, uh, waiting for you to come back to Houston, come back to the States. Hey, Mark, we wish you the best in both uh, Jerusalem and in Charlotte. So uh, we'll miss you on the golf course. Uh, but I'm sure you'll get to play some golf in Charlotte. I know there's a great course on Lake Norman. You've probably uh, have found that out by now, but good luck to you and uh, hope you do well in Jerusalem. Well, Mark, I wish you the best of luck on your new ventures, and I hope you have a good time in, uh, in uh, North Carolina also. And uh, also, I just want to say, over the years, I've really appreciated the business we've done together, both when you were a vendor to Salve and provided such excellent service, and then later when you uh, gave me an opportunity to transition in retirement and work for you for several years, uh, that was I, I value those times very, very highly. 
and I uh, just want to say thank you very much. Mark, we're going to miss you. We'll come see you no matter where you end up, North Carolina, Israel, Boston, New York, wherever you go, you'll find me. Just keep a bed made for me. You know, getting to know you has been a real experience. You're the most handsome, most debonair, best golfer. I know you're a good lover because I just happen to know it because I got the inside scoop. It's been a real pleasure to get to know you over these two years. Enjoy yourself, enjoy your travels, and don't forget to come back and see us in Texas. Hey Dad, remember the time we went to Israel and we went whitewater rafting and you were wearing your khakis? Well, I hope that when you go to Israel this time, you get yourself some, a really good swimsuit because I'd like to go whitewater rafting with you again. And Dad, when we come visit you in Israel, please don't wear your khakis <laughs> to go whitewater rafting. We love you. Can't wait to see you there. Hey, Mark, so there's something about khaki pants in Israel. I'm looking forward to coming to see you in Israel and visiting Israel for the first time. Can't wait to see you. Mwah. Love you. Bye. Mwah, mwah. Love you. So, Pop, there's so many, so many things that I'd like to say, but sadly, because this is a recording, I'm only allowed to say this for like 30 seconds. There are so many good things. You, you take your religion to another level that I personally really respect, and I know God. Somewhere up there, he's proud. I love you, Pop. I'm going to miss you in Israel, but I know that I'm going to come visit. Stay tuned. Mark, Mark, man, good times, buddy. We sure are going to miss you. Uh, those long talks, hanging out, looking out the windows, good times with you, buddy. Can't wait to uh, see what's next for you and your adventure and uh, all the good things that are going to happen with your Alia. And uh, looking forward to coming out there and visiting. We got some extra incentive to come hang out with you now. So we love you. Texas is always going to be here. Please come back and see us. And uh, next year in Jerusalem. Mark, I'm very happy for you. I know that this dream you're about to embark on was something that you had seen in your future for a long time and you had shared that dream with me so I'm excited for you taking that on and I want to thank you for everything you taught me and the relationship that we built working together and most importantly you taught me the importance of caring for the folks that really do the work and making them feel like family um, that's a lesson that sticks with me forever thank you Mark enjoy the next phase of your life my name is Ruth Steinfeld I have known Mark for many, many years, and it was always wonderful to see him come into my hair salon. We had long conversations, and we talked about everything, love, finance, children, and I just want you to know that I wish you the very, very, very best, and I know you'll be happy, and you just need to learn Hebrew. <laughs> which isn't so easy, but good luck, and I hope to see you soon again. Love you. Bye-bye. Hello, Mark. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for being a great mentor. I hope we stay close. Good luck in, this, in Israel. If you're even remotely as good as you were a mentor in this anti-Semitism work, then you'll have no problem. I hope you have a great time, and I'll see you soon. Love you. Good evening. It's great to be at this event. We are saying goodbye, but not a real goodbye to Mark. Um, we hope, first of all, he's going to be back in Houston. Secondly, he, uh, we're going to see him in Jerusalem in his apartment. We, I actually took Mark to a, we went on a trip together. Not I took him, he took me a trip to Israel um, around, I don't know, I'm guessing it's five years ago already. And uh, Mark is an amazing person in the sense of the inspiration. He's someone, he inspires me. Um, but uh, he's someone who goes somewhere, and he was inspired by the land of Israel and uh, seeing the amazing things happening in that country, the physical aspects of the building of Israel and also the spiritual aspects, and he was so inspired that uh, this is sort of the culmination of that trip that we took together, and I'm uh, so happy for him, a little jealous. We hope to be there very soon, joining him. Um, 
And uh, it's just, uh, it's an amazing thing that someone could just go, be inspired, and actually act on that inspiration. Um, as, as we know, many people don't do that. They come back from the trip, and they get back to normal routine of life. Mark took that inspiration. He's fighting for the land of Israel and uh, supporting the land of Israel in many, many ways, um, and actually moving there and buying real estate in Israel. That's amazing to me, and he is my inspiration, and I aspire to be like him, and so too by moving to Jerusalem very, very soon. We hope to see you soon, Mark. Keep the light on for us. And, and while you're not here, you should know we will miss you at our Shabbos table. You're such a personable guy. And no matter who else is at the table, you're just so warm and friendly and able to make conversation with anyone sitting next to you. So we'll miss your company. But we look forward to having it whenever you're back in town. Thank you very much. And good luck. Have an awesome life. L'chaim. Um, hi, Pop. Um, I don't feel like I need to introduce myself. Um, I only have 30 seconds, and so clearly the list is way too long to get into how amazing you are. Um, just want to say that we love you. Um, we are grateful for all that you have done for us and the kids. We will miss you. Um, and thank you for being so, so incredibly wonderful to Jaden. It means the world to him and to us. We wish you the very best and we love you. Mark, you were such a wonderful addition to our foursome. And it was so wonderful to get to know you, the kind, generous person that you are. And what you're doing with your life now and giving back is so important. It speaks volumes of the man you are. We wish you the best of luck and you can expect expect us on your door in Jerusalem so I can go float in the Dead Sea or I'll see you in North Carolina with my sister on Lake Norman. Congratulations Mark. You've talked about this for years. We knew you were going to Israel. Uh, we just know, did not know it was going to be so soon. Uh, enjoy your trip there. Enjoy your stay there and enjoy your time in North Carolina with your family. 20 years of a lot of fun Mark. Thanks for all the times on the course. Thanks for joining us for Breakfast. I guess you took it very literally next year in Jerusalem. Maybe a little bit too much. I wish you the best. Hope your golf game stays much better than mine. I know you'll do well. Love your cause. Congratulations on everything you've done and for being our friend. Take care. Mark, I just want to say uh, I really appreciate the, uh, the mentorship that you were able to give me during uh, what must be one of the most tumultuous times of, uh, of my life, you know, just um, helping me get through COVID and, and uh, putting me on the right track is, uh, I can't tell you how much uh, I appreciate that. And, uh, and all of the, the guidance and, and the advice and the, the adages that you've been able to provide, it means a lot. Thank you. Howdy, Mark. Uh, congratulations on this next phase of your life. Um, my, my most fond memory of you is you taking me out to lunch and telling me my future. <laughs> telling me, Johnny, you're young, but I've seen this before and it's coming. And I said, Mark, thank you so much for your concern. <laughs> I appreciate it. We'll see how it goes. Well, it went just about exactly like you said it would. And I was able to navigate that through your care. And. Uh, how you've handled your tradition and uh, transition and decided what to do with your life. Uh, you're a role model, Mark, and you're a good man. And uh, I really appreciate the chance to learn from you. Uh, you introduced me to the UH mentorship program and you're certainly someone I consider a mentor and a friend. So um, thank you very much, sir. And um, I know that you're gonna have an awesome next phase of life. Mark, uh, I say congratulations. Um, I think that this is going to be a lot of fun for you um, going on to the next thing. Uh, I want to thank you um, for all the mentorship that you've given Johnny and also for uh, always being a voice to remind us to slow down and appreciate life for where we are uh, right now and not worry as much about what, their, what the problems are and all the things going on and just to smile and enjoy the moment. I can't wait to hear stories um, about your next phase. I hope you uh, continue to reach out. Um, we would love to hear from you um, as you go on and uh, hear what's next. Um, uh, good luck 
and can't wait for those stories. Hey, Mark, I just wanted to thank you for everything. Um, you know, through the years, you've inspired me a lot. In fact, you're probably one of the main inspirations for my move to Colorado soon. And uh, the things you said in Vistage Group when I was recording you meant a lot, too, and I've told you that in person. Uh, keep on uh, shooting the sunsets and uh, doing the fun things in your life. Uh, don't lose sight of that when you're out uh, in Jerusalem and on the East Coast. And I uh, hope and look forward to uh, seeing you in the future. All right. See you soon. Okay, Mark, we're sorry to see you leave. I mean, we're going to try to follow you. We're going to try to go to uh, uh, Jerusalem. Uh, I may try to come to North Carolina and play golf with you again. It we has been a, been a pleasure knowing you. I mean, I, as I said a few minutes ago, I mean, businesses have its ups and downs, and, and you're a true businessman. And I met you at a down, but even then you told me what the up was going to look like, and it, it, it turned out exactly as you have said. And uh, the things you committed to do when you said things would be up, you have done, and uh, you're my hero. Mine too. Mwah. We love you. Hi, Mark. It's Joy, your, your, your Tuesday, Thursday buddy. I, Mark, we met through Sydney and JD. I became your executive assistant, but uh, it was more than being your executive assistant. You turned out to be one of my best friends. I will miss our conversations when we were supposed to be working. And then I will also miss the times that we just spent together, just talking about old times, that the way things used to be pre-COVID, and then just, just chit-chatting with you. Um, I, I enjoyed working with you. I enjoyed working for you, but most of all, I enjoy being your friend, and I pray that we will remain friends across the water, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Love always, Joy. Uh, yeah, my name is Jack Spidler. I have a friend of Mark's for over 30 years. Uh, one of the things we used to love to do is, uh, is meet at Einstein's and have bagels and coffee in the morning before we went to work. Uh, we talked about many, many, many things. I was telling Mark just a few minutes ago that, uh, that he, uh, he taught me a lot about being a good person, being kind, being generous. And, uh, and uh, he also taught me a lot about his religion. And we swapped uh, stories about our religions. I'm a Mormon. And uh, so he, I learned a lot from him. And he, he claims he learned a lot from me, but uh, I think it all was already in his head. Uh, he just is a fine gentleman, and I, I respect him as much as anybody I've ever met in this business. So, good luck to you, Mark. Best always. I hope you live to be 150. We wish you well, and travel safely, and it'll be a pleasure to hear the news of how it's going. We're going to miss you, Mark. We've been meeting so... so uh, What's the, what's the right word? No, serendipitously. Oh. <laughs> in the elevator, in the garage, and we've had a lot of fun. It was lovely to have known you all these years, and I certainly hope you'll come back and visit us, and maybe we'll make it over to visit you one of these days. Love from Richard and... Linda. <laughs> you not being in the states anymore um, Mark has always been a button that I can press in a time that I need it and um, you being I, I know you'll still be there but overseas in different time zones but we'll figure it out <laughs> um, one of the many things that I admire about you Mark is your passion your passion to um, fight for others and fight for justice and I'm inspired by you and I'm so proud of you for chasing your passion and moving yeah. to Israel 
Now, I would love to introduce Mark's best friend of 20 years, um, Dennis. If Dennis is in the room anywhere. He's over there. Hey, Dennis. <laughs> Dennis, if you could come on up here and uh, say some kind words about Mark. <laughs> try hard. <laughs> that was uh, unexpected. Thank you. It was that much to say because she said it all. Sit <laughs> down. Uh, uh, appreciate uh, being being here with you, Mark. And thanks for your best friend. Uh, it's more like uh, close to thirty years. You know, but uh, uh, I was I was I was Mark had it, uh, told me I was invited and uh, and. Um, and I was honored to be here. He asked me to say a few words. I was wondering, like, why am I here, you know? Uh, but Mark and I have a lot in common. We, we bonded very quickly when, uh, when I moved to Houston. I moved to Houston 23 years ago from Chicago. I'm originally from New York. And uh, we have a lot of things in common. We're about the same size. So, uh, uh, we're both Jewish. I didn't wear my yarmulke because, you know, like, I have a lot of them, you know, from bar mitzvahs and weddings. But, uh, and uh, Kenny, you know, I, I, Kenny Rosenbaum, I, I just want to make this clear. You were not my first Jewish friend here in Houston. Uh, and Mark was. Okay. Good to know. That's important. And, and Mark and I play golf. We just have the same uh, up and down golf game. Well, this is more often. Sometimes, more sometimes it's good and sometimes not so good. Yeah. But we love golf. And, that, and that's the one thing about Mark. Mark has a... What I, uh, Mark has this infectious enthusiasm about life. I think that's, that's how Mark is. He gets very excited about things. And, um, and he has a passion for life. I just, uh, he's sort of my idol. Because I'm, I'm going to be following his path. I'm, gonna be following his path. Uh, I'm not going to Israel, but I'm, I'm going to retire myself. And I hope that I could live like Mark does and sort of keep that uh, enthusiasm on life. And hopefully it just don't fade away. First, we get you a bris. <laughs> we're all good. I love to embarrass him. He was a very quiet guy. One of my partners, Steve Goldberg, says hello. And he would always say, Dennis, listen, we're going to come down to Houston. We're going to visit with Mark. We're going to play golf. But he really wants us to go to his warehouse. Oh, my God. I've been to so many warehouses in my life. What's it, another warehouse? But I have to tell you, when I went to his warehouse, I was really impressed with his warehouse. It was very clean, very organized. He had this bagging machine, the open mouth uh, bagger. Yeah. Mouth uh, bagger. It was incredible. And it was only like two guys on the machine, which used to have like eight guys on the machine. So it was really, wow. And, uh, and I was in Chicago where the, if you bag a rail car, if you don't have a plastic, I'm sorry. Uh, it would take like eight, nine hours, and here was like three and a half hours. Yeah. It was really, he was a visionary in the business. A visionary. I mean, there are big, I mean, he, he, he thought about things way before. You're ahead of your time. So, uh, so coming down here, we just connected and just got closer, and uh, and have lost similar thoughts about life. So, uh, so he's a great guy, and, and that's that's all I can say, right? <laughs> First, let's start with Dennis. Thank you, Dennis, very, very much for your kind words, your sentiments. Uh, you are one of my dearest friends ever, and um, we've helped each other through good times and bad for decades. So I love you, Dennis. Um, I wonder if he really is Jewish. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> but he's like a brother. Sydney. So special. So she already said where we met, it's the University of Houston. She's one of the most special people I've ever known. She has a heart as big as a whale. Her core values are impeccable. Caring for other people um, is extremely important to her. So everything that I think is important, that's what she does. So I think the world of her, I'm lucky to know her. Her husband, JD, is just like her, except she's a hell of a lot prettier than you. <laughs> And your mom, her mother-in-law, Joy, where's Joy? Thought there she is. Um, we're all family, we do stuff together, and I'm really lucky to meet Dennis. So, um, and like with Dennis, 
uh, Sydney, our friendship is unbreakable. It's unbreakable. It's wonderful. So you know, when you get to know somebody, the more you get to know somebody, the more you know them. And you get to know their good things, and they're not so good things. Because you get to know them. Well, many people in this room have known me for 10, 20, 30, 40 years. Certainly, I have said something or done something that hurt your feelings or pissed you off or whatever that was wrong. And of course, it was never intentional. I didn't know I was doing it, but when I did it, I apologize from the bottom of my heart. I apologize for anything I did. So that's enough of that. Um, a lot of people are asking, so where are you going? Okay, so, and why? What are you going to do there? So, um, here's the whole story. Uh, a week from today, I pack up everything from my unit upstairs, lock, stock, and barrel, and 99% uh, of it, I'm going to move it to go into storage in North Carolina. So I'm moving to North Carolina because I crave family. That's the family part. I'm moving to Israel because I've been doing a lot of work for nonprofits, Jewish nonprofits, fighting anti-Semitism and fighting all kinds of hate. Anti-black, anti-Hispanic, anti-immigrant, anti-Jew. I'm sick of it. Can't stand it. So uh, my last couple of years of my business, which I just sold two years ago, a few years before that, we engaged in this, I won't go into the details, but engaged with this business methodology called EOS. And it enabled my company to just go from mediocre to best in class. And I was able to sell the business and, and did very well with it. So I, I realized that, wow, these nonprofits, most nonprofits are not run real well because they don't pay well and whatever. And but I'm working for nonprofits trying to help them to do what they do better. So they, they can fight anti-Semitism, they can fight other hate. So by helping them, what I do is I bring the EOS to these organizations, I get them excited about it, they buy into it, I pay for it, the two-year program, and it helps them to do what they do more, better, faster, less costly, more screwed the core, wider markets, it allows them to do what they do better. Anti-Semitism today is the worst that it's been since I was born. I'm born May 1st, 1945, hours after Hitler was killed. What's the significance of that? I don't know, but I was close to it. There were still murdering Jews and other people, thousands a day, when I was born. So I feel connected. That hate of Jews never went away. It's been around for 3,500 years. Uh, it's not going away. I, didn't really think, I used to think, well, that's a pessimistic. It's not going away. Isn't there 3,500 years? Every generation has had people, countries, that wanted to annihilate the Jews. Um, what's making it much worse now is that we live in an age of authoritarianism, divisionalism, um, hate, with the likes of and they're starting to take over parts of the world. Russia's Putin. China's Xi. North Korea's Kim. Iran's Khomeini. And there are others. And they're all in bed together. And they all hate Jews. So we feel safe here in America because we don't see this. But I've been doing a lot of research and talking and listening and listening and listening. And guys, I'm sorry, we're in deep shit. The world's on fire. I'm not a pessimist. I'm not. I'm an optimist. But the world's on fire. <clears throat> and typically, uh, Jean-Paul Chartres, a French um, philosopher in the 30s, wrote various books, and he said, the Jew is the universal scapegoat. Something going wrong? Blame the Jew. The bubonic plague was started by the Jews, so we can make profits. That's conspiracy theory. Anyway, the hate is out there. I can't stand it. I'm committed to doing my small part. I'm just one person. My small part and fighting it. Um, I can do this. I'm able to do this. 
I want to do this, I must do this. So I'm doing it. So that's the. Uh, on a, a lighter note. So the, the theme here is, uh, see you later. So it's not a going away party. Going away party, pretty negative. Like, go away. <laughs> <laughs> Gone. And there's a finality to it. This is a see you later party, OK? There's a this promise of continuity. So a few nights ago, I was thinking that let's have something that goes along with that. So you know, Right. Now, this is Paul, my guitar teacher from many years ago. He's great, and his group. So this is a this is a uh, bill. Uh, yeah. See you later, alligator. Yes. See you later, alligator. <laughs> so who's here? Who here is old enough to remember Mick Miller sing-alongs? <laughs> okay. There's a Mick Miller TV show and the records. So this is going to be a similar one. It's going to be a little different. It's going to be a responsive thing. So bear with me. Bear with me. Let's pick up this. All the ladies, your mic, on this hat. And all the men over here. Come on. Ladies on the left. Men on the right. Men on the right. Okay, so it's not going to take long. So ladies, you're the alligator people. So I'm going to go, see you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. Guys, after a while, after a while, after a while, back and forth, back and forth, and improvise a little bit, and that's it. We'll do a quick rehearsal. We're not rehearsing. Okay, quick, right? Ready? See you later, alligator. Wait, I'm done. See you later, alligator. I see some later, alligator. You say, see you later, alligator. Oh, got it. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. After a while, After a while, After a while,
this. I really appreciate this. My grandfather really appreciates this. And I just want to say, I love you. I love you.